What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D. So, it back at another video. So, look, check me out, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not even mad, bro, but I'm low key salty. So, I literally just recorded this video, and uh, so I was going to uh, upload it to YouTube or whatever, and I was watching it because you know, you always got to watch it, make sure your uh, playback is good. So, I checked it out, and um. I didn't have it to where uh, I didn't have my commentary active, so basically I didn't have it to where you, it was capturing my voice. So it was a whole 42 minute video of me just, you know, talking, but you couldn't hear me, so it's kind of funny. So, uh, you know, I, I just thought that was really funny. You know, I'm sure other YouTubers, you know, bigger YouTubers have had those, you know, same issues or whatever. But anyways, man, enough of the rambling, I'm actually about to go ahead and get into it. So. As y'all seen from the title, this is the Master of Dunk. And the reason why I call it the Master of Dunk is because you got two weapons that can just demolish, and I mean demolish humans, yokai, big bosses, little bosses, whoever. It does it does not matter. They do not care. They just destroy and obliterate, right? And like I said, the thing that I really enjoy about this build is that I haven't seen too many builds on YouTube that actually um, allow you to use both weapons. Like that really, both weapons are actually really high level in this build, they are, right? So, so as y'all can see, this, these are my stats on screen right now. Uh, I'm not max level yet, still 275. Um, I'm putting everything in the magic right now, so. We got about 25 levels left, so my magic could be about 59 when it's all said and done, which is, you know, it's going to be really crispy, right? So I'm going to show you all my stat screen real quick. Um, so we got active skill damage. That's from uh, Honda, the Honda Clan. Um, Light Dream Melee Attack, bow damage. Y'all can see all this stuff. I'm not going to go through it, but I'm gonna, I am going to point out some of the uh, key highlights. Yokai ability damage phantom. That's from Hakataku. Um, elemental damage, fire damage. Y'all, y'all see. Um, this is a build focus on pretty much every element. Um, Moonless snow damage is 49%. That's a big one right there. Um, Rage duration 30%. That's from the uh, armor set we're wearing. Uh, Moonless snow increased attack. Uh, burn shock saturation. We got all accumulations. Like I said, this build is focused around all the elements. D D damage taken half, eighty percent unscathed. You know, it's Honda again. Um, as I can see, we have a lot of ammo bonuses, a lot of animal bonuses. So, like I said, man, we we out here. The Yokai ability damage all 35%. And that's from um, the titles, the prestige points, and then uh, my Yokai, my Soul Course. So I'm going to go through it real quick. So as y'all can see, I got Amrita Gauge Charge. And then Yokai ability damage all. That's where the 30% came from. I'm using the Extraction, Luckbringer, Lightning, Water, Sacred Water, Purification, Fire. Rejuvenation, quick scrolls. Um, you know, we got the sake and the arch yoga. Um, I put extend elemental weapon just because, like I said, this is one of those builds that's really heavily focused around the elemental talismans as opposed to using the um, the elemental shots. Um, just because I feel like, for my personal play style, this works out a lot better for me. Um, so I got. Damage over time on both of those, just because that helps a lot, especially with Ryuman. And then, like I said, um, the, the different element accumulations. You got burn on this one, shock on this one. And then I have attack and moonlit snow damage on all my pieces. Um, you know, we got staples here like defense bonus and ready to gauge, um, life recovery and read absorption. That's huge. Um, you know, key bonus and ready to gauge. Um, you know, those those are pretty much staples. Q, you know, key recovery bonus from really gay. So it's like we're really good in that aspect. 
um, fire damage on this one you know just got that one just for the set piece now like I said this build is you can use either either weapon if you just want to just focus on one weapon cool if you want to use both weapons like me cool but you can use either or and I have both of them fully maxed out so yes I have been grinding you feel me I have been putting in those hours putting in a lot of time you know to really min max this build and just get it to just the beast the monster the animal that it is now so um final blow damage and view water I got water in there just because water does extra damage whenever you um saturate them um saturation accumulation type bonus stamina all that good stuff uh it's pretty much same thing here so this is lightning increased damage when there's snow uh final blow damage like you know like this gilbert damage all that good stuff so as y'all can see because you already seen the stats earlier um this build is crazy bro like in every aspect like every aspect it's, it's just a monster like a monster right um so these are the points that i got in axe actually i'm gonna go ahead and finish this off um i really just get these just because this isn't one of those builds where it's not you know unkillable or you know the best tank or the best damage it's not i'm not going to say it is but it does a lot of things well it's the jack of all trades really but it just it just puts the day like you just have all your damage from anything you do is just stupid high like it's just insane like how good it is right and so that's why i call it the master dunk because you could just you know what i'm saying you're just taking them yoka to the hole man you just out here putting them in a basket you feel me so that's why we go ahead and call it that. But as y'all can see, man, pretty much the standard stuff. My favorite um, axe was Rumbling Earth, me personally. But I know a lot of people like Mass Spinner. But, you know, we got Relentless, you know, Kentaro. And then I did, Inner Light to me is a must. Is a must. Like, <sighs> y'all finna see. <laughs> That's all I got to say, bro. Y'all finna see. And then Odachi. Um, you know, typicals, passage, you know, relentless, moonless snow. Obviously, that's our um, that's our big damage dealer right there. Final blow, sword of severance. That's you know, twelve percent extra damage against humans, which them boys just get <laughs> obliterated. And I do got the uh, dragon horn just because, like I said, this whole my whole thought process with this build was just I want to get amina from anywhere, from any source I can. Right, as y'all can see, as y'all seen in the stats status screen, we have a lot of, a lot of ways to get ammo. So it's like, you know, why not maximize that, right? So I'm about to show y'all a couple of demonstrations real quick, um, so y'all can just see for yourself, man. Like this, this is this build has become my favorite of all time. Out of all the builds that I've seen, out of all the builds that I've you know, made myself and you know, just ran through myself. This build is my favorite, hands down. And the reason why I say this build is my favorite is because there's not, like I said, I haven't seen too many builds where you know you can play with both weapons and both weapons be extremely powerful. Because usually, you know, builds just focus on one weapon, right? But with this, we can focus on either or. And I'm gonna do this mission twice just to show y'all, like, you know. This build, you know, it can do, it's just as strong with the axe as it is Odachi, and I think that's just, that's just so much fun, you know, because, you know, you get to actually, you know, enjoy using different weapons. Look at that, that man got killed, that's collateral, bro, like, collateral. Look at that, bro, so I'm saying, it's too easy. It's too easy, bro. Like it is, like, and as y'all can see, I don't need to put you know weakness on my enemy. I don't have to you know do anything to them. It's all about me making myself strong, right? That's all it is, bro. It's all it is. Oh, sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. I, I skipped a a big vital piece of what makes this build good. Also, 
And that's my guardian spirit, my boy Tengen. You know what I'm saying? Tengen is super nice. But I'm about to go ahead and show y'all him real quick and kind of um, explain explain a little bit about that. Because I actually forgot about that. I'm sorry. I do apologize. Alright, cool. So, Tengen is the man. He was cold in the last one. He's still good in this one. So, the best thing about Tengen is a stance base and read a bonus. So basically what that means, when I'm in high stance, I get an attack buff. That stacks with my increased attack from Moonlit Stowe. So I can have two attack buff with Odachi. Or, if I want to switch to the axe, I can use Rage, get that attack buff, and then still get another attack buff in high stance. So I have two weapons where I can have two attack buffs active at any one time. Like insane that's insane bro that's so much damage it doesn't make any it does not make any sense oh my gosh it don't make any sense the extend elemental weapon like i said which is great especially for all the talents that we're using that's why you've seen uh our extend elemental weapons almost at like 60 percent and the amina bonus from elemental attack which like i said we're a build mainly focused around doing elemental damage so we get amina so quick it does not make any sense and the hakutaku um we get it's actually 10 percent is half because this is showing as if, as if my, my main but um so we get 10 percent from the yokai ability damage phantom and then we get another five so that's that's where you see the 15 in the status screen and so one thing that i noticed about that because when i originally read that and it says like you know when you're in phantom form but that's actually not true you just have to have your um soul cores aligned to your phantom so i'm gonna go ahead and explain that show you what i'm talking about with it, right so I'm gonna go ahead. Let, let's just do reunion, right? So reunion is a brute type, which is the red, right? So let's say I wanted to make him a phantom type. So I would use a mortal core, right? Go down. So now I have I have a soul. I could either stay a brute or I could be a phantom. And as y'all can see, the colors change between which whatever I want or want. So if I picked phantom, it will change to a phantom. So now. The Hakutaku, I will get that 15% extra damage bonus, Hakutaku. And then you can stack that with the Yokai ability damage that you get, that you can roll in your soul core. So you could have, you know, anywhere from 40, you know, up to, you know, 50, 50 to 55 percent extra Yokai ability damage, which is insane. Especially if you get, you know, Yokai abilities that hit hard, like, you know, Takamaru or Yatsu no Kami or all those like those are cool you know those are fun if you want to play with them me personally like they're okay to me and i'm not and i'm not saying that you know to downplay them because they are strong but i like you know reuman because i like i like reuman as a whole to me reuman is dope right the whole fight is dope the whole lore behind him is dope so to me his soul core was just bro that's cold and i and i had my first playthrough, I used Reem and Soul Core all the damn time because they just saved my ass so many times, right? And then the, the Mizuki, I got the Mizuki there just because I really just like Mizuki just because it's just a, a big strong arm, just you know, just hitting you with a big old sword. So it's like, you know, it it it, it just fits, you know, how I want my character to be. You know, it it just fits everything about my character, and so it it just really makes a lot of sense to me. Like that's why I like this build so much is that. It just really just, you know, everything just goes together so well. So well. Right? And so, and I'm going to keep, I'm going to be honest with y'all, bro. Like, my original basis for this build came from um, Fighting Cowboys uh, video called The Obsidian Blade. Now, he didn't min-max it or, you know, have everything how I have it now. But, you know, he was basically saying, like, you know, you can push this build even further, you know, if you take the time and invest into it, whatever, whatever. So, I was like, man, you know, that's wild. Like, you know, I mean, let me see what I can do. With it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, bro, this build is crazy. It's simple. It's easy. You know, you don't have to do a lot of, you know, get a lot of crazy pieces. You know, it's just, you know, one armor set, boom, you're done. I'm like, man, let me test this out. Man, put it together, and I was like, bro, this might be insane. And then, so I was, I thought I was pretty much done with it uh, last night, and then I started playing some more. And just figured out some more different combinations. And I'll probably finish. I'll probably 
say I was done with this build probably earlier earlier today. Yeah. So as y'all can see, bro, 9,000. 9,000. Does not make any sense. This dude is too good, bro. Yeah, man. As y'all can see, bro, this build is just. <sighs> it's one of those. It's one of those builds, bro. It is. But I am gonna link a uh, fighting cowboys video in the uh, description below, so y'all can go and check that out, so y'all can see the basis and then kind of see where I got it from. And then, um, you know, just make it have y'all want to. But I did want to, you know, let y'all know that because I didn't, because I know, you know, a lot of people take credit for something that they didn't do. And I'm not that type of guy, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely want to give credit where it's due, you know, because I, I watch a lot of fighting cowboy videos. A lot. <laughs> so, you know, I just want to put that out there for y'all. But I'm not sure. I'm not even sure what this build does against three unit, bro. Like it's just, it's insane. But I've enjoyed this build so much. I've had so much fun with this build. Like it's just so much fun, bro. Using all the talismans, getting all the buffs. You know, just. Like I said, it's it's a different way to play because, you know, you get to use two different weapons. You know, so you can, you know, if, you, if you're struggling with one boss or one weapon type, you switch to the next and boom, it's cake. Like, so much fun. This build don't care, bro. This build does not care who you are, where you came from. You know, it just just destroys, man. And it's simple, simple, bro. Like anybody can make this. The hardest part about this set is going to be getting attack on all your pieces. Not even getting attack, finding you know somebody to trade with to get attack on all your pieces, and the moon is no damage. And then the soul cores but the soul cores are actually are super easy because i really just farm this mission and then the last mission to get uh mizuki's and um Ryuman soul cores and then um i did the abduction i farmed the abduction get the uh, only b soul cores so those those three missions you can you know do easy so it's not like the hardest part and i'm gonna be for the hardest part about this build was actually getting the uh, smith and test for the uh futu no Tama. Oh, and then the armor that you, you you can farm from a former match in the uh, Shadow Region and just fight the uh, Obsidian Samurai. But that was the hardest part was getting this getting this Smith and Texas drop because you get this from the final boss and boy, he dropped so much stuff. But I finally got it, man. So I, I think I have a Smith and Texas for pretty much everything, like all these pieces. I made these two. I made the. I made the chest and I made the greaves and then all the other pieces I think I just actually just randomly got and just kept them because they were um, they didn't have any inheritables on them and that's what you want so what I mean by inheritable so to max so to basically get all seven slots filled how I have right now you basically want something that looks like this right so you see how it doesn't have any inheritables or like it doesn't have like the white bar which is what mine is like the moon of snow and then um 
you still have that blank space. So what those are for are gold and heritable. Let me see if I have gloves. So look, let's say you want an EI quick draw build, right? You could put attack and the EI quick draw damage and you know just go crazy with it, bruh. And that's one thing that I love that they did because it, it gives a lot of a lot of build variety. As y'all can see, I was farming so I have a lot of a lot of different stuff, but I'm not gonna dive too deep into that. But yeah man, like this build is just I'm I'm gonna give y'all a couple more demonstrations just so y'all can see for yourselves. Like it's just Bro, it don't matter. Like it honestly and truthfully does not matter. You know, this build is just it's fun man it is because it's simple i think and i think that's what i like about it the most is that you know you're not relying on you know getting poison up or getting paralysis up or you know putting weakness on the enemy or putting sloth or doing this or doing that like you could just take it and go right and just you know literally just customize it however you want to and it's just so much fun playing that way because it just gives you a whole new variety right it just gives you a whole new you know just a different way to play the game and it's fun it you know like i said this is the most fun that i've had playing these and not that you know two was boring or not my other build wasn't good but it was just a whole different play style and you know to it, it, be able to experience a whole different play style and you know just do something different is always fun right you know you know see you know be able to experience a different world you never knew was there is just always fun to anybody as y'all can see bro we didn't care i'm talking to y'all and just ran through here like <sighs> you don't care bro don't but that's what i'm like that that's why i like about this build man is because it's not one of those builds where it's oh all the max damage and skills and all the best skills and you know all this all that like no like this ain't the strongest build. This ain't the tankiest build. This ain't the immortal build. It's nothing like that. It's just one of those really simple, easy to put together builds and that does a lot of damage and it's still super tanky and it's really fun, really easy. And you can just complement it and supplement it either way you want to. If you want to go the ninjutsu route, you can go the ninjutsu route. If you want to go the magic route, you can go the magic route. Or if you just want to dump everything in constitution and be super tanky, you can do that. Like there's so many different options and so much flexibility that you get from you know just using this set that it's just so freeing and so you know mind opening and just so unique and just so different that you just are you know you just get to see and play the game from a a totally different you know perspective as opposed to just going from you know max damage on every single thing you know just just max damage max damage max damage and you can fit some utility skills in there you know you can get a guardian spirit you know if you want to you know you could just you could just do so much is the point i'm trying to make i know i'm kind of rambling a little bit but that's the overall point i'm trying to make is that you could just do whatever you want right because you you there's so much synergy from you know elemental attack and we do a pretty much element we do all of our elemental attacks are from all our weapons right from the talismans from all that stuff so it's just you know it's just it's just it's so much fun is the point i'm trying to get at man like i love this build bro and this and this is the build that this, this is going to be my new main build. like no questions asked like no no doubts this is gonna be my new main build because it's just bro it's just too fun like and that's one thing, like I said, that I enjoy about this build as opposed to my last one. Like, I love my last one. Like, it was great. It was phenomenal. It did its thing. But, you know, the Cruiser Regama, you just kind of just button mash square and called it good. You know, you kind of it. Like, Cruiser Regama's a great weapon. Great weapon. Phenomenal. Fantastic. But, you know, I never really used the skills in the Cruiser Regama because I never had a, I really never had a need to. Whereas opposed to the Odachi, you know, the axe, you kind of have to use those skills because it's a slower hitting weapon. So you actually got to kind of, you know, maneuver and, you know, figure out different combos and stuff like that and what works. And it's just, it's just so much fun. Bro. Look at that. Look at the new same chance. And I didn't even need them there, to be honest. I didn't. They were just bonuses.
But since as y'all can see my water is still on my weapon and I popped it as soon as the mission started. So that's what I'm saying. Like it's just it's fine bro. You can just switch whatever on the fly. And I and, and one thing that I come to find out too is that whenever you're working with uh, the accumulations, you don't have to stack a bunch of the same accumulations because if you're doing what I do, like you're just focusing on the magic, with for the talismans, all you need is one. Because what I what what I've noticed is that you don't really see any extra accumulation, especially from the Odachi and the Axe. For whatever, and I didn't even know this, but they build up, you know, elemental damage, not elemental damage, they build up status effects so fast, like, and it, surpri it surprised me when I was playing through it initially, because I was like, whoa, like, you know, obviously these are slower hit, you know, slower hit of weapons, and you're like, whoa, like, you would never expect that, but they build up elemental damage so fast, and so, at first I was originally running with, um, um, shock on everything, so I had my shock up to like 40 something percent, but, you know, you don't really, I didn't really notice too much of a difference because, you know, the base elemental damage on the weapon is so low, right? So, you know, you mainly use them for the talismans anyway. So once I, you know, took it off, the, put, took it off and just used it on the talismans, so I noticed a huge difference. And I was like, bro, I'm still getting it up. So it's just like, there's no need to me having every weapon. And that's not switched to one of each. That's when I got Reedman involved. That's when I got... The fire damage, that's when I got the fire over time, and that's when I just really just pieced everything together. I was like, bro, this build is just too ridiculous. Because playing with the talismans is just. Because I noticed that whenever you boost your magic power up, your talismans get stronger also, which also increases your elemental damage output that you're using from those talismans. Which, like I said, makes the accumulation even more unnecessary because you're already, you know, having that build up there which is just so much fun like I said it just makes it more versatile you know more fluid more you know engaging more enjoyable just it's just a better overall experience like I said this is the final boss and y'all just finna see just it's not even gonna be close So yeah, man, that's the deal, bro. It's just fun, simple, easy, and you can build it and expand upon it however you want to, however you want to. So, like I said, this is this is probably my new main build, like for the rest of the year. Um, and so whenever we do get level at cats increase, I'm mainly gonna focus on magic. Uh, I want to get that to 99, and I want to get the courage to 99 because magic. Sorry, his courage also boosts your magic damage, also. So that's how I'm gonna roll with that. But yeah, man, that's been the build. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. I really do. Um, like I said, I got everything fixed, you know, with my recording, so I'll be able to record and finally get the videos uploaded and not have any issues and stuff with it like that. So definitely gonna look out for that for the uh, walkthrough coming coming soon. Um, but yeah, man, it's been your boy Diesel Wink. I really appreciate y'all for coming out, man. Thank y'all so much. You know, I really appreciate all the support y'all been giving me. You know, it means a lot. You know, it really does. So, hey, I'll catch y'all in the next.